the beauty of a citizen's jury gives that ability to get a mixture of people together with different perspectives, different backgrounds, to discuss the theme in depth. We are asking you to explore whether there are any circumstances under which a UK government should consider changing the law to allow intentional genome editing of human embryos for serious genetic conditions. Lived experience is really hard to capture unless you get people together to really talk about their experiences. Often it feels that that conversation isn't accessible to the layperson or to people in society. Before 2012, genome editing technology was really limited. In the past few years though, it has accelerated rapidly and it's why it's such a crucial issue for this jury and for wider public discussion. There's been a lot of technological breakthroughs recently in the field of genetics, things like CRISPR-Cas9. These have a lot of power to be able to, you know, potentially treat and cure genetic diseases, but they can also reinforce a lot of existing societal biases. Germline gene editing makes that individual that they don't have the option of passing on a non-edited version of their genome. I think there will be absolutely diametrically opposed views in that room. <laughs> How much do we actually need to consider the global context and the decision that we're making? How do we know that these genetic changes don't have an eventual positive change for the human race overall? We need some balanced evidence, positive evidence for living with genetic conditions. And then we've got lots of concerns about eugenics, concerns about the ethics of research. We're never going to be able to prevent this travelling idea, so actually that argument, it's not a great one. Does any severe morbidity in me and the length of my life determine its value and its richness? With the inherited disease that I have, it would be very beneficial for the laws to be changed. Is this body of knowledge being brought forward as well to help with decision making? This isn't something that we are ready for as a society. There are going to be nuances in, in how people feel about it. It's not about us. It's actually about society at large, so we have to put that to one side and consider it seriously. We're going to ask you to drop your sticky dot into here and we will have a final vote. We don't know when this is going to become a hot topic but we are anticipating that it will at some point and that will be the moment where policymakers will seek out public and patient voices.